Hey everyone, it is I, uh, Remy Chan, and uh, I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but I forgot because of reasons. Right, so I have some old drawings here which might be interesting, especially to people who are full of my work. This one's just like a, a banana sort of skyscraper city. It's kind of just a thing I drew. Um, but there's some really interesting things here. I don't know what this was. I think it was meant to be like a, uh, a like my own version of Espage or something. I don't know. Um, but the words are very unusual, which is what makes me think that yes, it's meant to be funny like that. This was drawn back when I was in uh, TAFE, or uh, Tertiary and Furthering Education, or Technical and Furthering Education, basically like a middle ground between high school and college, and uh, yeah, that's me being mad at something, I can't remember what, what was it? Oh yeah, right, me being mad about a bus being like, and then it just comes and I'm like, okay, I don't care, because it was so much what I was like. That bus was incredibly late that day. <laughs> oh my god, all these, like, pictures of it's Captain Rowley just doing dumb stuff. A few of these. Now this is a map that was actually for an old, old game. You can see because my I'm actually using a ruler uh, for a lot of it. But uh, yeah, that actually ended up becoming a survival map. Um, that was originally made for the game Hellcat School of Hell. Um, oh yeah, there's the first concept of the uh, <laughs> the ship of the space monkey pirates. It's got the, uh, yeah, the SS Potassium. I think it looks, you sort of a lot more like a banana. Now it doesn't so much. But yeah. Looks way better these days. Oh yeah, I had all these. Not that, never mind that. These are different characters. I was going to make like an Ed Ed and esque series out of Galaxians. But I already had Pepper all the interesty, well basically the Ed Ed and Eddie trio, just in different skins. So I decided to, yeah. Oh man, some of these drawings are so bad. <laughs> oh, I didn't know how to draw Tristy back in these days. This is back when the little naked weirdo still too. Oh, these one, this one's pretty cool. This is our diary. Uh, if you've played Menagerie, you probably know who this is. Yeah. I uh, did this, originally this was a picture I did in pen, but uh, I redid it in dark, dark pencil, and improved on it. But to be honest, I think the original looks more visceral, which was its own pen. Just stuff from when I did uh, University of Queensland, mostly just this big, sharpy stuff. Now oh, and here's uh, a couple of images of me, looking ridiculously handsome somehow. So yeah, did you know that worked? Oh yes, this image. This is one of the images that just shows that when I actually want to just draw stuff randomly, I can put a lot of detail into a thing. There's so much going on. And then I'm just here quietly studying with none of these outside noises bothering me. And the point of this piece was some work better in an environment of chaos, which is how I seem to be. And uh, more of these guys, and some of the other like guys that would be in it, like uh, Perry here, who's a bit of a perfectionist, um, the bus driver, Drigo or something, um, and then of course there's these guys again, uh, yeah. and of course some Maz on this page who would have been the Eddie. Maz is actually mentioned by name in Menagerie, one of the uh, optional scenes. 
Oh hey, it's some fiery again. And uh the draft to a piece that I would make and hate. Um, it was a good idea in concept, but I just wasn't good enough at anatomy yet to really draw something of that style. But it was a good way to learn hands. That's me missing the train and being very angry about it. Oh yeah, some stuff from, some concept stuff for Rolly's game, back when Rolly was still a naked widow. Catfish is basically looking the same, except he has an eye patch in that one. That's just the uh, planetary concept for one of the Galaxian artificial like bases, Zorak in this case. You can tell it's got the big X in it. And you get Sardari again. And this is the one that I did in pen during a blackout online paper. Yeah, I actually, I actually kind of prefer that one because it looks more frenzied. Whereas the other one looks a lot more controlled. Uh, so this one, just more of rolling pep up to, you know, that stuff. Back when they were naked widows. Oh, now this should be interesting. Let me just see if it's still recording. Okay, it is. <coughs> Zoomed in at all. No, it isn't cool. So, this is the first character concept for Coco here. And Looney, yeah, these were the very first times I drew these characters. So, like back in these days, there were actually some differences. So, uh, Lumi's basically the same. Her simp was a bit different. But otherwise, she basically is the same. However, Coco's got quite a few changes. She's got, like, weird monkey feet on the slip, weird monkey feet slippers, and she doesn't have the single thing, which, the single sash lead she actually has too, which is a bit silly, but uh, I fixed that in the update version. She also doesn't have sleeves, like she does in the updated version. Lilac, uh, she doesn't have the symbol on her chest, but that is her. Uh, the bangs are different a bit because I hadn't really worked out how I was going to do her bangs yet. But uh, and the the like sash wings aren't very wide. But beyond that, it's pretty much one one with how she ended up being. Boom. Oh hey, it's the first image of Renee and Kathy. A lot of you would have seen this already. Um, this was just the fragment I kept because it's like hey, it's good to keep your eye out for history. So yeah, that's when Cassie and Renee were concepted. Alright. Uh, oh yes, this is... Um, I don't think that name's right. Because I've changed the name since then. I've made it more elegant. It's now like... Uh, Visoli. Yeah, no. Um... I can't remember, but it's like Vizali Pazed or something. Vizali Pedez, yeah, Vizali Pedez or something like that. Depez, that's right. Yeah, it's like Vizali, Vizali Depez. So it's meant to sound a bit, you know, exotic, region lady of Morsa. Obviously, it's a very rough concept. It's not finished yet. <laughs> okay, so here's these. I'm sure most of you have seen these already. These are the uh, manga pages I did for Mirror, or rather Mirror's introduction in uh, Fantasia, which will be pretty similar to how they end up, and that's the last of those. However, we're not quite done just yet. We also have these. Now you might be wondering, Remy, what, what is all this? And what this is, oops, it's upside down, it's just pat is the very first concept for intelligence. This was all the playing intelligence had, these few sheets of paper. So here we have protagonist. Tristy wasn't even concepted yet. Uh, my point, yep. She didn't even have art yet. I've been really did because I just based them on characters they'd already made. 
So we take that away. Good okay. So yes, this was the characters, and I do say four or maybe three. The original intent was just to have three characters, but then I wanted to make Limbo. So you've got a fat, a fat melee now the lead, which is Rolly. Uh, a witty British magician and the red cat who likes red cordial, those are both Pep. And a tomboy lead, never works, but that did sort of pan its way into being Tristy, even though she's not a huge tomboy. Okay, and these were all the different concepts of more. I knew basically I wanted a picture of a gassy face ever since the beginning. And this here. This here was the one we went with, and you can probably trace its origins because it's pretty much the exact same like composition as the one we have in the game itself. That one aside. Okay, so, and he used to be called Grin back before I called, decided to call him more, which made more sense. <laughs> Get it? More sense? Sorry. Um, so, yeah, perhaps the main villain? No. He certainly was for the first, like, release of the game, but it sure as hell wasn't forever. And he even said, I oh, need work. Which, uh, it's funny because I've never actually changed that artwork of him. Uh, visage of depravity, corruption, evil. Yeah, it looks like I was going for a title. I don't know what the hell Samurk was about. I believe that was some. I believe I did some research into a deity, and they, their name was Samurk. But, um, yeah. Bio. Yeah, because it's a bit of a description. Men know where the spectre comes from. Some say he is the embodiment of all evil. All evil and sin in the universe. And that he has lived as long as free will itself. Now, all that has obviously been never true. Because Moore is just a herald of destruction. He is just one of the six ancient ones that cause destruction to planets in order to get heroes to go and, you know, find ways to defeat them for good with the assistance of the demigods. And once all six of them are defeated, they bring about cyclic re origination, which is basically like, hey, Want a shitty twist? There's that one. He has some interesting side villains here that never made it. And some that did make it but weren't even side villains. Like Messenger of World isn't a side villain. Messenger of Worlds. But Tummy Trimmers, which are basically Nightmare Weight Watchers, they never made it. I thought that was a bit too pathetical. Um, I probably would have been chastised on one too many occasions for that. Oh, when do you want yeah, so that's just a bio about the Messenger of Worlds. He isn't even a side villain, he's a side character. You never fight him. Oh, uh, he's, he's essentially a good guy. Okay, concepts. Comedy. This will be a... Fan... This will be a fun... No, this will be a fun comedic game, and not meant to be taken seriously. Pop culture plus references. This was actually a requirement back then. Obviously, that's been written now. now. Um, with comedy... There is a time where references will be needed. I guess occasionally I do make references, but usually just callbacks to my own stuff. And I try to make them as invisible as possible. No grind. Now that one I basically kept to. The only um, flagrant disregard for that was in the training halls. But nowadays those training halls aren't training halls, they're just, oh, go fight the boss, you're done, cool. <laughs> Quick transport, so yeah, that's where the waypoint system came from. Because again, obviously, most of these stayed in, except for the pop culture references that kind of got the shaft, because it was kind of stupid. Okay. Now we have the, the world idea. Um, ori originally, it was not going to even be Earth. It was going to be called Animania. It's going to be its whole other world. Um, so for the Animania is a world much like Earth, the more intelligent beings abandoned the planet years ago, now animals have grown intelligence of their own. Now, as we know, this Earth, this was act this actually ended up just being Earth, because I figured, hey, there's more traction and relatability in an Earth story about that. And it means I can just use places that are in my version of Earth, like the East Coast of Australia, which is where most of the game takes place. 
Um, just where I'm currently living. Many artifacts containing magic, uh, containing magics, the animals found and have mastered elements of magic to the, the old ones never did. Now, that's all bullshit. That, uh, that never happened. That was entirely retconned. I didn't know how the aspects, I didn't even know the aspects existed back when I was writing all these. This is incredibly conceptual stages. Oh, speaking of concepts, what well, the concepts continued? Uh, none of my dimensional, so none of my characters being flat or, you know, un unrelatable. That's definitely been carried through. New story, not the same one I use for all games, which is basically chosen one, go save, world, blah blah. This one is similar, but it's got a lot of twists to it, in that you're chosen because you're naive, and but smart enough to get the job done. So yeah, the whole thing is like you're chosen to disintegrate the universe. But what the heroes do is they walk away from that chosen path and go their own way. That's what makes intelligence pretty unique, is or new as far as story goes. And uh <laughs> no furries. <laughs> That's been my baseline ever since the first day, because I'm still not a furry and I will not ever admit that my characters are furries. They're intelligent mammals, that is all. No, humans are boring. This was back before I realized I can actually make humans just as interesting as mammals see Fantasia.